mission this time? I won't say. Why won't you tell us? The first person I talk to has to be Mura. I'm from Paris. How do you do, Anne? An honor. This is Fuji. How do you do? Captain, anything wrong, sir? It's nothing. The reason I asked you in here was... Hayata? Yes, sir. The Joint Chiefs of Staff suddenly decided to send you to Paris. Not only is it a special assignment, but it's an honor. While you're in Paris, you shall be representing both the Science Patrol and the International Space Army as a rocket advisor. Now we can release to the newscasters your important mission. Uh, Captain, we're telling the press in order to get worldwide publicity. We're proud of you, Hayata. Thanks. Congratulations. And watch things while you're gone. And don't worry about a thing as long as we're here. The best of luck, Hayata. Thank you. 即日、早田隊員はアンヌ隊員とパリへ向け出発した。phone call from downtown television center just came in. Our communication Hello? satellite in space has been sending back strange noises. Captain, international telephone server says the undersea's cables, cables are tangled. Captain, I can't Hello. prepare it. Headquarters, science Something patrol. keeps cutting yes. into the phone lines. Yes. Which on the TV? Hello? Yes, this is the science patrol. Yes, of course, sir. We're doing all we can. Ito Arashi, ready for action. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. These strange occurrences have to stop. Yes, yes sir. sir. At first, we thought it was due to a radical change in the atmosphere. But it doesn't look as if there's anything wrong. The receiver's all right, but the waves are oscillating too violently from the satellite to get a clear picture. We thought it was the satellite, but our own waves down here are erratic. Mm -hmm. This is Arashi sending out... Arashi, we can't use that either. A strange wave of some kind keeps dominating this area. Have you been able... 
able to find any clues so far. No, nothing as yet, Dr. Fukuyama. We just started our investigation. Hmm, I see. This is all very strange. In what respect? The cause is at the science patrol. Hmm? What? We trace the center of it to your headquarters. What do you mean? I think there's a very strong magnetic influence there. It's odd that you should say that. I also thought there was a very strong influence in the headquarters area. Mm -hmm. According to our investigation, our graphs recorded the strongest waves at your headquarters. Oh, if what you say is true, it's incredible, Doctor. Oh, what's wrong? Look over there. Huh? It's Anne. Oh, I thought I saw her take off for Paris with Hayata. She is in Paris with Hayata. You forget that we saw her off together. Then why is she out there in the street? That can't be Anne. It's impossible. I can't understand it. It sure looked like her. in this direction, the more active the needle gets. What do you think, Ito? I have a feeling it's coming from in there. Let's go. We found it. Hmm. It emits column magnetic light waves that distort ordinary radio waves. And so a tiny thing like this is causing a huge magnetic mess in the area. I see. I think everything will be all right. Fuji? Yes, sir. Try to contact Hayata's plane. Right. Why is the door calling hmm. Hayata? Strange. Science what is? This is German that ore. I've read in the scientific papers that it's found at least a hundred miles underground. Well, then, we can research it and try to find something out. Right. The question is, who could have gotten this into headquarters? Mm. Captain, would it sound possible that Anne left that here? But that's crazy. Not really. She's the only outsider who entered these headquarters recently. That's not the answer. Our man in Paris personally okayed her. That's right. Remember, she was chosen instead of three others. I have a different idea. Someone of another galaxy could have sneaked it right past our police. Doctor, couldn't it also be that germitant ore is also found in outer space? Hmm. Yes, Sir Ashi, it's a possibility. Captain, so far no answer from Hayata. The only thing I've been getting is distorted sound. The radio's useless. But that's... The apparatus Arashi found had brought complete confusion to the radio waves in the downtown area. However, the Science Institute was unable to establish how it got there. And above all, they still couldn't solve the problem. The Science Patrol went into space, seeking an answer.
Archie! It was Anne! I know it was! We we'll follow her in the plane! Look! This one's Hayatas! Are you certain? Hayatas? It's Anne! I know it! Captain! I've got her photo in the telemaster. Her dossier notes that she's our best agent in Paris. However, not even the plane managed to reach its destination. Hmm. Hayata accidentally dropped it. That's it. That's the only solution. No, it's not. Captain, I say that woman is responsible for everything that's happened so far. Find her and we solve the whole problem. All right. We'll start looking for her. You to the TV center. Arashi to the intercontinental phone. Fuji, you stay here with me. Now go. Right, sir. At that moment, Hayata was caught in a stream of consciousness, floating between dreams and reality. I just saw a monster. The woman's not Anne. Come quickly and help.
Captain, Bad News, sir. We're all out of firebombs. Now what to try? the guidance track. I want to pull out of it. Yes, sir. Captain! Captain! Ito, are you all right? Unless something is done, the city will be destroyed in a matter of hours. Come on. Yes, sir. world should be almost ours. How's that? I don't understand. The world. Where are we? You are at least 275 miles beneath the Bay of Tokyo, where we have lived in darkness in this underground world for an eternity. Now we have decided to take over the entire Earth. What? Another world on Earth? was long before your own kind, even before the glacial era in the surface world. To this day, we have never seen natural light. Then why destroy the surface world up there? <laughs> because we need more slaves to dig for our living area. Do you understand now? We know that Ultraman and yourself are one, and no one on the outside knows that. Now we can hypnotize you and make Ultraman serve our own cause where and when we so desire. <laughs> now, Hayata, you will lose consciousness soon. When you are fully under, we will have complete control of Ultraman. From now on, you will be a slave for those of the underground. You will be controlled as a destructive robot to do exactly as you are told. You will destroy all those who become dangerous so that we can rule and experience a new world. <laughs> We've lived in darkness much too long. Our people wait patiently for sunshine and the fresh air of the outside world. Now it is our turn. superiors and assist us on the surface world outside. Ayata, you are to get diggers for us on the surface world at the command. Good. Ayata, use the beta capsule now. 
Ultraman came from galaxy M78 with extraordinary powers to protect her. And even if Hayata is unconscious in a world of darkness, there is no force that can dominate Ultraman. Where was you? Where have you been? Did you know you gave us great hair? <laughs> well, as long as you're back with us now, huh? Now may I please reacquaint you with someone. Oh. 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 She's the one who caused all the trouble. Oh. 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 <laughs> Ayata and I were kidnapped while we were already on our way. It wasn't until after we were taken that I learned I had an underground twin. We were delivered underground. I was locked in a cell and held as a prisoner till morning. Uh, then Anne was saved by none other than Ultraman. And as for me, I'd been knocked out. And I didn't know what was going on. Thanks to the fake Miss Anne Moheim. <laughs> and so for the second time, the trip to Paris officially begins.